Hi Fucus, welcome. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at um, what is going on for you at the moment, what your energies are, and um, hopefully give you some tips and advice as to how to navigate your way through this current time of your life, okay? So welcome, I'm Juanita, and let's get into it. Um, cosmic reading cards we're starting with those okay and the Osho Zen tarot will be used to just to give us a bit more insight and um, clarification type of thing so I've already done the cosmic reading cards because honestly it takes so blimmin long um, to get them out sometimes it just saves time so we can give you as much information as we can okay so let's start off with mirrored souls Okay, Fucus, I feel like um, there's a relationship going on for you at the moment that is definitely a mirrored soul, whether it be romantic, um, a family ship, a situation ship, a partnership, a friendship, work ship, whatever. Whatever ship it is, just go with that. Okay, so um, that is like it's it's a tough place to be because what happens in these relationships it really does show us you know what what is um it highlights for us what those good parts of ourselves and those parts that aren't so great right and um so that can be really challenging to see and and also we do that for that other person as well right and so that can be triggering for them okay so it's not necessarily easy, but it definitely is rewarding, all right? And um, because, you know, you can use it to see what it is that needs to be healed, what it is that you need to work on, okay? Um, it's really getting to love yourself unconditionally and with compassion, right? And, and also other people as well. Because, you know, when we have these things highlighted to us, it shows us those areas that we need to really be working on, yeah? And um, and I feel like, like for some of you, it's that you've been a bit in the dark night of the soul, of the soul okay? And maybe whether it's due to this relationship or if this relationship is just highlighting all these things for you, it really is there to show you what it is that needs to be worked on, okay? Um, so let's have a look here and see if there's anything else that we need to bring up because I'm really drawn to this heart space here and there is a real connection here. Um, and yet, I want to say, because I'm kind of seeing this connection as setting out this vibration and what that is attracting to you. Consciousness, being conscious, right? Really being honest with yourself, first and foremost. Going within, into your heart space and being aware of of what is going on in your heart rather than hearing what was going on in your mind okay <laughs> being honest with yourself being honest with yourself about what is going on because this guy here he is pretending he's on holiday he's pretending he's at the beach but he's actually sitting at the kitchen in the kitchen right and it's really about the shattering of illusions i feel um Making sure that you do the work and not fob, fob it off and pretend like, oh, it's fine, you know, nothing needs to be done. Or just doing one step and then going, okay, I've done that. Now, you know, why isn't this changing? Or, you know, or or it could be the case, I fear because that looking at other people and saying, well, they should do this and they should do that. And this is why there is this problem here. Really looking at yourself. And being completely and utterly honest with yourself, okay? Um, and this Cosmic Connection card, I really love this because this is letting you know that you are definitely supported, okay? Um, 
there are new people who are coming. Your tribe is coming. Okay, either you've met them, some of them, or they're on their way. Okay, um, but this also is really about looking at um, how you can rise, raise your vibration so that you can attract these people. Okay, because I feel like there's something inside of you that is desiring for new connections and new relationships to be formed, new friendships. Yeah, and um, it really is a matter of you raising your vibration. Now, this relationship or whatever it is, you know, with whomever it is with, um, is there for, to highlight your, you know, to trigger you to highlight those aspects of yourself that need to be healed and need to be worked on so that you can raise your vibration to make these connections that are of a healthy nature okay possibilities knowing that there are heaps of possibilities okay really looking at kind of like um see how the eagle is um flying up there above the the terrain and looking down, so it's kind of like taking a few steps back or rising above the situation and seeing things for how they really are. Or and and you know, looking at okay, how can I do things differently here? What can I do to actually change things? Because it's kind of like this repeating pattern of doing the same old thing and nothing changes, but expecting the change to happen, right? Aloneness may very well be that some of you are feeling incredibly alone right now but ultimately i feel more this it's also about that dark night of the soul right now is what i'm seeing knowing that you have a light to shine here this guy is walking along his his own light his own light that he projects out that is guiding him right so really going in here listening to this consciousness this consciousness is who you truly are I, sorry i keep putting it down too fast and i feel you really need to have a look at that to see the peace within it right see this light up here i feel like it's the same light here that he is projecting forward this is what you have within you this is what we all have within us okay and while it may have been a lonely journey um and it may very well be that you are afraid of going on this journey alone. There is growth to be had because if you look here on his stick that he is using to help him, there is growth, okay? So you do have help. It really is a matter of looking at things from a different perspective, okay? And knowing that you are the master of your own journey, yeah? Um, the next card here is self-worth. Now, the thing is, Ophiuchus, is it's so important for you to realize that you, you're incredible. You are amazing. And I know that you're sitting there going, yeah, whatever. You don't even know me. If you knew me, you wouldn't say that. Well, I'm going to say it anyway. Because this is who you are, right? This is who you are. And you're covering yourself up because you don't feel like you're enough. But I'm here to let you know you are enough. Yeah? It really is time to allow yourself to come out and shine. Okay? Like, because it's like you, you feel like you don't measure up to those around you. You kind of feel like you're a, you're a duck out of water, in a sense. I think that's the saying. Um, and, you know, you really, by, by believing that about yourself, you really are giving your, your power away, right? You're, you're not standing in your power. You're not standing in your truth when these are the beliefs that you hold, Okay. Um, and yeah, I just feel like, see, again here, look at this here. This is her light shining, you know, her coming into the truth of who she is and allowing her light to shine, right? And 
I feel like sometimes you stand in that and then you get a little bit like, oh no, I can't do that. I couldn't be like that person or look at that person who can do that so easily. Um, but you absolutely can. But because you're forever doubting yourself or you're listening to other people around you who try to put, hold you down, you don't allow yourself to step into that truth of who you really are. Well, did you see that? I hope you saw that. Right? You're forever comparing yourself to other people. And again, this is giving your power away. Comparing yourself to other people creates this vibration of I'm not good enough. And so what will happen is you'll attract circumstances and people who will prove to you that you're not good enough. Because that's what you're looking for. But if you have hold the belief that you are good enough, then you will attract people and circumstances that prove to you that you are in fact good enough. Because something inside of you knows that, which is why you're here listening to this now. Because you actually are good enough. So there's, um, I feel like there are those of you who are carrying, it's like you're living someone else's life. It's it really is time to turn it around and find your own path. Okay, um, you know, I feel like though this dark night of the soul may be that you are starting to do that or you are in the midst of actually doing that because for such a long time you've been carrying other people and you have been letting them lead the way and it's been heavy on you. They have wanted you to carry them and do the work for them. But it's time for that to stop. That is over. Okay, it's time for transformation. Yeah, and this is what you are heading towards and in the midst of. Okay, you know, cycles are a part of life, right? You, you're transforming. You are, it's really important to look at your patterns in your life, okay, and how they are holding you in certain situations that are not serving you. And it's also really important to look at your beliefs, um, your thoughts. Did I just say beliefs? I don't even know. I'm getting like completely woo, swept away with the message. You know, looking at how, how those are holding you back, how those are really um, <sighs> paving your way and um, how those have attracted in the, the people that you have in your life and the circumstances that have happened in your life, right? I know um, a number of years ago... Um, I was in a situation where every year I was moving house, right? And um, because, you know, we'd have a year's lease and then the owner would decide to sell the house and um, and it would happen every single year. And I found myself, I actually caught myself saying, this happens every year. Every year at the end of the lease, we have to move because the owner sells the house. And so this became my story. This became my belief. So what, of course, happened was every place we moved into, the owner wanted to sell it at the end of the lease, and we had to move. So what I, when I caught myself actually doing this, I was on the phone with a friend, and I'm telling this story, and I'm like, oh, holy heck, this is why it's happening. So I changed my story, and I said the next house we move into will be brand new, and it will be permanent until we are able to get our own house. And that is exactly what happened. That was the new story I started to tell. And it happened and it changed it. Because I put out this different vibration. And that's um, what you can do for you. Okay. Change. Yeah. Change all that. Look at the momentum that these stories create. These beliefs. Right. Have a look at that. And how if you come into this stillness here into this conscious awareness of who you truly are then you will be able to create something new in your life and to create a different change for yourself here I love that 
I really, really love that playfulness. Play around with it. Have some fun with it. It doesn't have to be all serious, yeah? You can, you know, you 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 can see it as, you know, like the, the caterpillar turning into the butterfly type of thing. What kind of butterfly do you want to be? What kind of caterpillar? You know, because you've kind of been through that caterpillar stage and at the moment I feel like you're in the cocoon stage. Yeah, which could very well be why this aloneness came up. You're in that cocoon stage where you're there trying to work out what where what exactly direction you want to go in. So play around with it. Try different things. See what you like. Okay, and we have this balance card next. Now, this really is about balancing your internal world. Okay, Really, um, because what's been happening is it seems that you've been taking care of everyone else around you and not actually taking care of yourself, okay? So that's something that you could work on changing, yeah? And seeing how it is that you want to take care of yourself, right? Because, you know, there's no need for you to prove your existence by taking care of everyone around you. You have a right to exist, full stop. That is a full sentence. You, it's not, you have a right to exist because. You exist because. It is purely that. You exist. Full stop. And you have every right to stand in that power. Yeah? Take this away. Take that off and be seen. Be you. Be seen by yourself. Okay, so this, yeah, I, um, I, uh, sorry, I'm trying to say everything at once here. Um, you, oh, I've just lost what I was going to say there. I, I, I do see this patterns again, transmuting these patterns. And, and I feel like, again, there's these choices, really looking at all the choices that you have as to, okay, you know, say you believe you're unworthy, right? Looking at that belief or that thought and going, okay, what could I choose to believe or think otherwise? Really looking at how you can break that for yourself and start demanding it. Instead of, <clears throat> you know, because there's this kind of thing in you where you, it's like this demand to believe you're unworthy. And that's what you get shown. Try, play around with it. Try believing that you are worthy, that you are enough. Okay, so what if I change it to this? All these negative beliefs that I hold about myself, what if I change it to the opposite thing of what it is that you believe? Play around with it. Repeat that to yourself six million times a day like you do the unworthy beliefs and see how your life changes, right? integration integrating this new way of being yeah integrating these aspects of yourself that maybe you may not necessarily like we all have aspects of ourselves that we do not like we all have shadow parts of ourselves even this dark night of the soul that you may be walking through right now right it sucks no one wants to remember it no one wants to know it use it to your advantage Find a way to use it to your advantage. Use these things to bring up these feelings of unworthiness, these feelings of I'm not enough, these feelings of absolute despair. For some of you, that's the state that you're in. And see how you can turn it around. Because the fact of the matter, a few kiss, is that you, anyone going through this, you would turn around and love them with all your heart and soul. So why won't you give that to yourself? Be the master of your own life. Okay? I feel like these two here are so in sync. It is unbelievable. And these two are not just at the beginning of the journey. They are in this space of... How do I even describe it? Space? In the space of space. In this kind of, I'm surprised the nothingness card hasn't come up yet. 
you know, it's, it's really holding your power. There's this truth within you, this essence of you that has been hidden for so long that needs to come forth and being seen. Worlds within worlds. You see, there's this outer world here and there's this inner world here and then you have this space around here and that is exactly what I was talking about, this space here. Okay? And also, when we were talking about your inner world before, talking about how it is that this card is representing how it is that your inner world is attracting your outer world. So looking at, okay, so there might be challenges going on on the outside of you. Um, what is it going on in the inside of you that is creating these challenges? Because we do create our own reality. Okay, we, you know, which can be very, very hard to accept when things are absolute crap. You know, it's not easy. Really, we have to be honest with ourselves and truthful, and it doesn't mean we're bad or stupid or anything at all. It just means that change needs to occur, and that's why these things are there, to teach us to change. And if these things are being reoccurring, then you desperately need to change. And this is something that everyone goes through, yeah? But I feel like if you kiss, you have the balls and the guts to say, guess what? I'm going to do that. I'm not going to sit in this anymore. You know, you have the courage. You utterly have the courage. And that is something that is worth applauding. The dream. You have a dream. You have a dream. You see, this is like this outer world here that you would like to create here. And what's happening at the moment, this is your inner world where you're like, oh, I don't believe that that could ever happen for me. You know, it's sitting there watching others have this, this relationship or whatever it is in your life that you want to create. It might not be pertaining to a relationship. But whatever it is that you want to create, you don't really believe that you deserve it. You don't believe that you have it in you to create it. Um, and you definitely don't believe that you're worthy of it, that you are. Look at these cards flying out and not flying out by accident. They're flying out to send you a message to say that you are. Um, creativity. This is this inner essence. What's your passion? You know, look at this difference between these cards. This dream here is what you have, right? And this here is this kind of, you know, grey dullness that you, you, you're finding yourself in right now. You can bring out this creativity which is within you and bring it out and create this world here right because you have the ability to create anything you want this is the beauty about going into this darkness as horrible and messy and uncomfortable and ugly as it is what we can do is work out what it is that we want to create right you can create anything here. Okay, now, with this card here, Celebration, have a look at, because, you know, you, it's not like you're at the beginning of this journey, you're actually in it. So what I want to say to you here is have a look at how far you've actually come. Look at what your achievements have been so far and celebrate those. Pat yourself on the back. You know, even if you are finding it hard to find any achievements, no, that you have had the strength and the courage to get to where you are right now. Yet, even if you feel like giving up right now, you're still here. And that is something to be celebrated. I'm pleased you're still here. I'm stoked you're still here. So celebrate those achievements for yourself. And see the beauty in that, okay? And with, you know, that you can also look at what lessons you needed to learn, right? Along this way, comparison. Here we go again, looking at the comparison because you may have seen other people go through this journey and maybe thinking, well, they did better than me and they already got through it and blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Then You're not them. They're not you. They might have just been, you know, winging it. They might have just kind of, you know, just skimmed over it and didn't really do the work you've got the courage to do the work okay the other thing with this 
is that understand that you have a bamboo tree here and another tree here, whatever that is, I wouldn't even know. But the thing is, they're both trees. Okay, what I want to draw your attention to is the space in between here. Okay, the space of existence. They exist, they coexist together. Okay, they are the same thing, but different. Same, same, but different. Yeah, and so it is going into this space here for you to become creative, for you to play around, for you to become conscious of the master you truly are. Love it. Okay, anything else for celebration or Ophiuchus, please? I love this reading for you. I mean, I know it's hard. I know it's hard. But you have a lot of things to look forward to, you know. I don't feel like you necessarily believe that right now. But I'm, I really want you to know that there is light at the end of the tunnel, okay? You, because this card here popping up, I feel like you're nearing the end. You know, you're, you're more than halfway through it, yeah? And it's getting all the pieces of the puzzle into the right place. I guess that's one brilliant way to describe this journey. You've got all these pieces of the puzzle and it's just finding what pace, place they um, belong. And, and maybe that's that's representative of yourself. Finding out where, where do I belong? How do I fit into the bigger picture? Well, I tell you what, you're a really important part of the picture. Because without this, this person's third eye would be missing. Yeah? The truth of who they are would be missing. Yeah? Their light, their internal light would be missing. And this is what I feel like maybe is the crucial key for you to find what it is that you need in your life that is missing to get through this journey, right? So we now have communication, which is brilliant because again, this is this light, but in this big array around her head, but it's also in this circle, like it's still, I feel stifled, right? Um, so, um, you know, this, this really is about your inner voice, right? Hearing your inner voice, listening to it. Okay. Um, obviously it says communication, which you might not have realized because I know it's backwards on the camera, but anyhow, that's beside the point. Um, I, I feel as though you... It, it, it's, this is really about you not feeling heard, okay? And that can lead to frustration and irritability, you know, and, and getting peeved at people. And, and those sorts of things, I feel like for you, you try to close in. Or it could be that you lash out for some of you and um, you feel embarrassed about that. And you're like, oh, God, I'm such a bad person, whatever, whatever. But it's actually because you don't feel heard. So what's happening is you're trying to get a point across without really communicating it, communicating it in a different way to let people know that you're ticked off, uh, but they don't really understand what's going on. So it's important for you to come out and say, do you know what, I just don't feel heard. You know, and this is also about you listening to your inner self and hearing your inner self, your inner child crying out to be heard. These emotions within you that rise up, they want to be heard, not, not pushed down not suppressed, they want to be heard, and that's why they're coming up, okay, so this is very important for you to do, extremely important, so, Ophiuchus, when you hear this, when you hear these emotions from yourself, listen with love, don't listen with, you know, this, putting yourself down, and oh god, you're so stupid, why would you feel that, and why, you know, all that kind of jazz, Okay, because you're not doing that to other people. If someone came to you and said, oh, I don't feel like I've been heard, <clears throat> more than likely you're going to say, oh, you know, I'm really sorry. Well, like, well, how can I help you? Do the same for yourself. Be loving. Be nurturing. Because ultimately that's what you really want from other people. 
So unless you're giving that to yourself, how can you expect other people to give it to you? Okay. This is this vibration that you want to be putting out. Put out what it is that you want to get back here. Yeah? So yeah, let's have a look here. Okay. Letting go. Letting go of these critical thoughts about yourself. Letting go of this way of communicating that doesn't really get the message through. Okay. Letting go to allow yourself to flower. Letting go for you to look at this lady sitting here like she is owns the freaking universe. She does. And this is what you have in you as well. Okay. Hope. Have a look at this. This is about being honest about your imbalances, about your wounds within. Okay. You need to heal those things. Those things that have been triggered by this one here, okay, looking at your self-worth here for you to clear your energy so that you can start attracting what it is that you want to attract in your life, okay? This is going to help you raise your vibration so that you can bring in these cosmic connections okay so that you can have this cosmic connection with the consciousness okay with the truth of who you really are to step into this master being that again you truly are okay so let's have a look if there's anything else here for hope that we haven't touched on and this is clearing all this debris all these um that didn't come out right sorry all these things that you you know all these feelings of unworthiness and and um that you're not enough and all these you know really really hard feelings to live with um about yourself is is like this it's like all this debris around the light and it's not um allowing the light to shine through properly and that's what those feelings are creating okay those beliefs and those thoughts and so this is really about clearing all that so that this light can shine through clearly okay so is there anything else for a focus in regards traveling paving your own way going along your own path yeah when you do this you things will start to move for you super quickly okay and sometimes you know the journey isn't easy uh, but it's a journey that's worth having okay that is worth going on yeah letting go of the sorrow within listening to your inner child bringing it out letting it have a voice okay because this is what ultimately need, needs to happen you need to take the cover off your mouth and communicate your needs if not to those around you at least to yourself and first and foremost realistically to yourself because you're the one who can do this okay if you kiss i believe in you i know that you're an amazing person i know you are you are worthy and you are more than enough i'm gonna leave that with you please subscribe and like and share the whole idea of this channel is to help people heal okay so please have a hand in doing that for others too Take care of your beautiful soul selves. Bye-bye.